Hi all of you beautiful peoples, how are you doing today? Setting my timer so I don't go on a rampage. Um, I can't believe I'm making this video. <laughs> okay, this is going to be a little bit more of a serious video. Um, I am heartbroken and I am so sad for what's going on in the YouTube community. Um, and I think I need to address this because this is getting completely out of hand. I want to start by telling you guys a story. A um, couple of weeks ago, my husband was under a, you know, Johan, you guys have met him in the videos, was under so much stress um, at work and he had two deadlines to meet uh, literally a week apart. Um, now for you guys who don't know, my husband's actually not in the health industry, uh, although he looks like it <laughs> and he always helps me and stuff like that. But he's actually an electronics engineer and he designs microchips. So he came home um, a couple of weeks ago and he literally looked like the, something that the dog dragged in. And I knew something was wrong and I asked him about it and I talked to him and he said to me, you know, I'm 46 years old, that's how old he is now. He says, um, I was, I've had a passion for electronics ever since I was, ever since I can remember, four or five years old. He used to disassemble his mom's hair dryer, he used to disassemble a toaster and all her electronic gadgets and of course he never could put them together again when he was a little boy. And uh, finally um, he studied to become an electronics engineer, he got his um, master's or honors degree, um, I know it's different in the States than in South Africa, but the honors is like a master's without thesis, so he got a degree, that's the main thing, in electronics. And he always had this passion for this and he thought he was going to become this person who does, doesn't want any fame or anything, but he's going to change the world. He's going to make a difference. He's going to uh, make something better of the world. He's going to give the world something, right? He said, and you know what, what hurts me the most? That was his words. And I, uh, and his, I said, what? And he said, here I am designing all these things where I'm, you know, coming up with all these patterns. I've made my name throughout the world. I've done all of these things everywhere you go. If you go on um, these pattern sites, you see my husband's name um, always attached to it or whatever he says. And I feel dirty. He's like, he literally, he said to me, I'm designing these things that goes into electronics. It makes the internet faster. It makes the cell phones faster. It makes... Uh, uh, everything is becoming smaller and faster, like the, the world paces faster, like everything, he says, and instead of people using it for the good, they're using it for destruction. He says, here we are, you know, working and designing to make cell phones smaller, make internet faster. And what do people use uh, on the internet for? Um, for porn, like porn seems to be the number one uh, thing that the internet is used for, it makes the most money, um, and he's like, what happened to learning stuff and, you know, doing research on the internet? Everything good that the internet was designed for, everything good that cell phones were supposed to be designed for. He says, like, are people just inherent, inherently or, or just born bad? Like, what is it with people that you create something to make the life, to make the world a better place and people seem to find some way to use it for evil? And I, you know, I had to talk to him and I said to him, you know, just because... There's so many evil people in the world and there's so many good people like the, this, the, you would always get that, but you, you do make the world a better place. And anyway, I had this discussion with him, not freaking knowing what the hell I was saying, but trying to make him feel better, right? So then recently something happened, like you guys know the video that I made before this one, I was discussing the fact, the haters on YouTube, like you, you know, this YouTube community and all the haters on there and you know how uh, I was basically chastising the gurus for allowing haters to come on YouTube and destroy something that's supposed to be beautiful. Um, of course, I did offend those people and the people who are guilty of that um, little thing, unsubscribed and they don't communicate with me and I told you guys I wasn't bothered by that. But then very recently, um, something really horrible has happened and I am absolutely appalled by it. Um, it seems like not only, <laughs> like, <laughs> I can't even, I can't even get over this. Okay, so here's this YouTube community, which I thought was this blooming, beautiful place. And yes, not everybody gets along with everybody else, and that's perfectly fine. Um, I don't think we were created to, every, to, to, to be the same or to all like the same stuff. Like, life would have been pretty boring if, it, if that was the case, right? But then there's these people who don't get along with other people, or um, one guru doesn't get along with the other guru, 
And it's the same as with haters. If you don't get along with a guru, I don't like every single guru out there. I don't agree with every guru out there. But if I don't agree with them, I don't subscribe to them and I don't watch their videos. But then you go around and there's these gurus that, you know, they sit on a video and they chat with everybody and you get this persona of them just through their videos, um, thinking that they're a certain way. But then they have a problem with another guru or a, a guru offended them and they go around trashing gurus. So now not only do we have haters that doesn't make videos that come and trash the gurus, we have gurus attacking other gurus. Like, what the hell is wrong with you? What are you guys smoking? I feel like I've fallen into this psychedelic world of, of uh, uh, hatred. Like, I don't understand this. People, <laughs> like, for real. Now I understand why I don't have any girlfriends. Like, I do not get along with women. I seem to get along with men a lot better than I get along with women. And this is the exact reason why. You can't put more than two people in a bloody room. You just leave them there for a half an hour and World War III will occur. Like, what is wrong with you guys? I, I, I'm here seeming to be, like, I'm going to be the mother since it seems like you guys uh, have never been taught the difference between right or wrong. I was contacted by somebody who has a vendetta against another somebody on YouTube. And this person was trying to, to build this army to attack this guru and get rid of them or destroy them or something like that. And then this person had the audacity to contact me and try to get me involved in this whole thing. Like, uh, obviously something went wrong somewhere because um, either you have no clue how to read personalities or you're just plain stupid. Um, I don't understand where you come from contacting me to try and get me involved in, in your tiff with somebody. Like, I, I <laughs> this is not my personality, people. I don't take shit from people and I don't gossip. So. Um, I deleted you and I blocked you and um, I won't watch your videos and let me tell you something. This is how the world runs. This is how you make the world a better place. If somebody does something to offend you, okay, you go to that person, you contact them. Don't message them and type an email because there's, there, there isn't a, a voice behind it. Contact that person, message them, say to them, listen, I need to talk to you. The two of us need to sort this thing out, but we have to do it over the phone. Here is my phone number. Please call me or give me your phone number and I'll call you. Then the two of you contact each other and you freaking talk this, this shit out. Like what in hell is wrong with you? You contacting me, wanting me to, to help you build this army against this person that offended you. What does that say about your personality? That just completely sucks. You don't do stuff like that because here's the funny thing about this. Yes, the person that offended you might have done something wrong, but what you're doing is 10 times more wrong than the person that offended you. Because the person that offended you, yeah, maybe she did something wrong, maybe she didn't do something wrong. I don't know. I wasn't there. I can't, first of all, blame somebody for something that I've never even seen them do. So why do you want to get me involved in your crap? And then second of all, what you're doing, what you just did, made me lose all my respect for you, okay? Because it doesn't matter how bad a thing is that that person did to offend you. You going around trying to create an army, building a, a people up against this, and, and not only that, also are you using your innocent subscribers, which you are so thankful for, to do your dirty work for you? Like, you can't trust people on the internet. You think that um, you know, this this person that you ask to do your dirty work for you is all for you. But when everybody gets involved in this whole shebang and everybody's fighting against everybody, nobody knows who to trust anymore. You're just creating chaos and, and everybody mistrusts everybody else. Like, it doesn't say anything for your personality. So, you've gone and you've screwed yourself over twice because not only have you made an enemy of me all by your lonesome self without me having to side with or without the person that you dislike, because that is not my style. People, you guys need to get a life. Like, for real. I am... There's people in Japan that died. There was a tsunami. There's earthquakes. There's people that die of hunger. And this is what you do? What makes you so special that you think you can go around trashing other people? Like, do you... I, <laughs> I can't get over this. And, and, and the, the worst is like, I can imagine you contacting all these other people, but if you know me, or if you're a subscriber of mine, or if you're a friend of mine, you should know my personality by now. I don't gossip about other people. I don't get involved in shit like this. People, I have a life. And my friggin' life is crazy enough. 
YouTube is my hobby. When I die one day, none of these people on YouTube is going to come to my funeral. None of these people are going to uh, be there for me. Like, whether they're my subscribers or my friends, you cannot be friends with somebody in a different country. First of all, it's hard enough to make a friend um, with somebody you can touch physically, somebody you can spend time with and learn to get to know. How in hell do you die? I can understand that you guys think that, you know, if you live in Paraguay and you make a freaking friend with somebody in Hawaii or, or wherever the heck, you're not friends. Your virtual communication, virtual communication, the best you can say is, oh, I have an acquaintance. That's the closest you can get to somebody on the internet. They're not your friends. Like, I don't understand what your people are thinking. I'm part of this community and I'm having fun and this is a hobby. And let me tell you something. This is the lowest of my, the lowest of my priorities. I'm trying to settle into a new country. I have two kids. I have a husband who is under a lot of stress because he's an engineer. Um, I'm trying to study. I'm trying to finish my study so I can get a bloody job. Like you people who are sitting on your asses all day long on the internet, trashing people, YouTube uh, gurus fighting with other gurus. People, when you die one day, what is going to happen? What did, Are you going to say, I made a mark in life? Um, I brought something positive to the world? Or are you going to die and 99% of people is not even going to remember you after 20 seconds of you being in your grave? Or is people going to go, that person meant something. That person meant something to me. Like, I don't, I, I don't get this. You guys who have all this time to go around bashing people. It is, it, you know, I, I always talk to people and, and, and they're like, why don't you go and exercise? Okay. Oh, I never have time. But <laughs> what do you spend your time on? There is no such thing as I don't have time. There is no person busier than me. When I start working, I'm going to be even busier. I'm studying, I'm settling, I'm doing tests, I'm doing, like, uh, my life is busy. People, you need to get busy with your lives. Um, don't tell me you can't exercise. If you don't have a job, if you're not educated, or say you're in, in the position where you don't have to work, at least do something with your time that means something to the community. Like, go out and volunteer at a school, volunteer at a library, um, volunteer at your, your local church or something. But to set your fat ass or your skinny ass, whatever your ass might look like, in front of a computer, and then not only that, playing uh, uh, um, for somebody else, uh, like being somebody else's little um, uh, doggy, doing their work for them or their slave, like, what, you have no integrity. Like, don't do stuff like that. You know... Do something with your life. Might be be meaningful. Go if it's only one person. If you can only mean something to one person, then go do it. Then when you're done meaning something to that person, move on to the next person. Make something of yourself. Why don't you instead of sitting there for hours and hours and hours, going from person to person to person, telling them how you know horrible somebody is, and you got to join my army, and we're gonna fight this person. Take your fat or your skinny ass or whatever ass you have, go to the gym, make friends, physical friends, people that can mean something to you, people that can encourage you, that can help you and train and diet and, or, and use YouTube to learn something. Why don't you go, Google is for other stuff than freaking porn and YouTube and makeup. There's, if you, you need to educate yourself. If, if you don't have an education, say, say you got married young and you have a family, and you've been a mother all your life and a housewife or whatever. Now your kids are growing up and um, you're at home by yourself. That is not healthy. <laughs> I know a lot of people put their whole effort and all their effort into their children and their families, but they grow up and move away. And what do you have then? Okay? It's never too old to study and better yourself. It's n you're never too old to, to go out and, and find a job. I mean, there's nothing wrong with volunteering somewhere if you, don't, if you can't find a job. If, if you have a husband that makes enough money to take care of you, then you're lucky. But that doesn't mean the time that you have. Like, you are blessed by the fact that your husband can take care of you, okay? But still, do something for your life, uh, for somebody. Like, do something that's going to make your life meaningful. And stop freaking fighting with other gurus. I mean, people, the onslaught of haters on YouTube is so big. I can't believe that you guys are fighting amongst each other. Are you guys on drugs or something? I, I don't get this. <laughs> Grow up means something. Go apologize to the person that offended you. Or go and ask for somebody's forgiveness. Or go and tell somebody, you know what, you did something that really hurt my feelings. 
but you guys are making these videos, you're, you, you're abusing your subscribers to do your dirty work for you, and these people have no clue, these subscribers of yours have no clue what's going on behind the scenes. You people need to grow up and smell the roses, life is short. And I know if you tell a 20 year old that life is short, they'll look at you and go like, yeah, what do you know, you're old, you're going to die one of these days anyways. But people, most of the people here around that's doing this attacking on other gurus, like you are older women. Did your parents never teach you the difference between wrong and right? Do you have, I can understand you have no life, but there is a life out there. There is something that you can do. You can mean something. Even if you don't mean something for somebody else, instead of sitting on your ass, you know, pushing buttons all day long, which is really unhealthy for your body, go out and join a bloody gym. Make something of yourself. You will be amazed how many friends you can make in a gym and then you can actually have a life. Somebody might have a hobby that they can share with you. Somebody might be volunteering somewhere and they might need help. Go and, like there are tons of things you can do with your life. Instead of sitting here pushing buttons and then contacting people like me who have no patience for morons like you to try and get me to join your army against somebody you have a vendetta against. Like people, please. <laughs> I can't, I, I can't get over this. Okay, so this is going to be my bitching part. This, I, I'm going to call this video the good, the bad, and the ugly. Because um, I'm going to quit the whole bitching part now. And please learn from this, people. <sighs> yeah, okay, quit. I'm, I'm quitting now. And I want to quickly run something by you guys. Um, I've been watching all these IMAX. Um, I'm just making a video, and I'll be there in five minutes. Um, I'm going to, uh, I was really, uh, like a bunch of people have been going to, I guess IMAX has been going around for um, 2011. And uh, the next one is in um, LA on the 25th and the 26th of June. I don't know how many of my YouTube subscribers are going to be there, but I'm kind of getting really excited. I didn't really think about it or think about going there, but I've got so many subscribers that's actually in the area and that will go there. So I was thinking, and I saw, I want to ask Gina too if she wants to go, and I know Sherry Baby wants to go too, so we might all meet up. Um, I haven't spoken to them in details yet. But you know, if you guys are planning on going to that IMAX, let me know. Uh, it would be freaking awesome if I can meet all of you guys. <laughs> That would be like the best part of YouTube is actually meeting my subscribers. That would be awesome. And then another thing that I want to run by you, and my bleeper went already and I quit it, is um, I know there's a bunch of people that have messaged me and want to be um, trained by me. So I'm going to tell you just very shortly what's um, in the upcoming events. I'm going to give you a location. I found a guy, now it's not in the, it's in the planning stages, okay, that has a private gym and he is in San Marcos, okay, and he uh, <coughs> allows uh, trainers to go to, like you don't have to work for him to be able to train people, uh, what he actually does is he charges personal trainers to take clients to his gym and then work with them or work out with them or tra train them. So, if there's any of you guys, like, I obviously can't give you my location of where I live or anything because that wouldn't be safe. But for now, if there's any of you guys that have contacted me and want me to train you guys, um, the area that it looks like that I might be doing training will be in San Marcos or Escondidos. Like, I'm still confused with the areas, but it's that, that, that's a location. The other thing is, if you are a subscriber of mine and you want to be trained by me, I will give you guys like a special price. Um, I'm not going to charge you guys full price what I charge for normal people because you are my subscribers. So I'm actually going to give you guys a discount if you want to be trained by me um, as a kind of a way to just say thank you for you know being a loyal subscriber and stuff like that. So think about that. Um, if you guys are in the area and you did want to get trained by me, let me know. I also have another friend that I want to introduce you guys to. She's one of those uh, girls that uh, you guys are, or most people find scary because she's one of those big bodybuilders, but she is awesome, awesome. I met her here in the gym in San Diego. Her name is Rhonda. She's a personal trainer. Uh, she's a bodybuilder, so she's not uh, like me. She's a big, big girl. Gorgeous freaking muscles that you've ever seen in your life. Uh, I know scary to a lot of you, but um, not everybody wants to look like that, but you can appreciate what they have. And she has the softest heart. And she came out and she helped me with so many things. It's not even funny. Uh, also, she's a massage therapist. So I'm definitely going to be making use of her strong muscles to get rid of my aches and pains when I train. <laughs> so um, if there's anybody with injuries, she specializes in training people with injuries. 
Um, so what I'm going to do is if there's if I get clients with specific injuries or specific problems that they have, I'm actually going to refer them to her. I, I spoke to her yesterday and she's prepared to come up with me and make a video uh, so you guys can meet her too. So that's all I want to say for now, just to let you guys know where I'm at and what I'm doing and what my plans are for the near future. And uh, hopefully I'll talk to you soon. Have a good day, guys. Bye-bye.